Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here this Friday morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health uh, and happiness uh, regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, uh, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, uh, he says, Lo, I'm with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome this morning? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation? In every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making, he said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. Welcome this morning. Let's give him a big hand. God bless you, Shley, and sincerely, beloved and friends, family and relatives, sincerely from my heart, I release that very special blessing upon your life today, and I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area in your life, and whatever you do, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me break it down today. I pray that God will bless your child. God will bless your children. He will bless you on the bless your finances, bless your business, bless you on the job, give you favor and promotion on the job. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Today I cover everyone under the blood of Jesus and I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Today, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, where the first, second, third, or fourth generation, fifth, sixth generation, I break in the name of Jesus. I reverse every curse that was pronounced upon your life. I break every curse. I break every chain. I break every barrier. I break every fetter in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. These curses are broken. These chains are broken right now in Jesus' name whom the Son set free is free indeed. You are free, my child of God. You are free, child of God, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. These curses that was pronounced upon your life has been broken and destroyed in Jesus' name. Let's give my big hand today because we're free you are free in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus said in his words, healing is the children's bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes I'm healed. You are healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' name is that awesome. Let's give him a hand. We be healing belongs to the child of God. You are healed today in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray you dip this mortal man of clay in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Born out every sickness. Born out every pain. Born out every disease, born out every infirmities, born out every evil and every work of darkness. Today, as I minister your words, heal my body from every virus, every sickness, every germs, every disease, every infirmities, every evil and every work of darkness. Purify me today as I minister your words, that your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, that many will be healed. 
Many will be saved. Many will be blessed. Many will be delivered. Many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. What do you do when life hits you with the unexpected, my friends? Yes, that's a great question. What do you do when life hits you with the unexpected, friends? When life hits you hard and catches you on your blind spot, your blind side, if there is one thing that you should know today and expect, my friends, is, isn't that the reality of life? Can something sometimes be earth shattering? It can be sometimes earth shattering and harsh, and perhaps you may be not able to turn your situation around, my friends, immediately. But I pray that my words, words, God, word today will plant seeds of faith in your life. Hallelujah. In your spirit. Don't be, don't be discouraged this morning by what you see, my friends. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged by what you hear today. Yes, your, your life, your life is in God's hands. Hallelujah. And that's something you should actually tell yourself today once in a while. My life, my life is in the hands, in the hands of God, in God's hands. Your health may not be where it want to be. My friends, but I encourage you today to do all that you, you can do today and then ask God to meet you, meet you halfway. Hallelujah. Your dream may seem like it's no longer possible, my friends, but I encourage you today to continue pursuing, pursuing God, pursuing God, whether or not you become a doctor, whether or not you become a lawyer, an attorney, or a in accountant pilot yes don't remove god from his throne in your life my friends all because you are you are disappointed god is bigger god is bigger than that which comes against you today and if the fight if the fight intensify and your own thoughts become negative yes and they start telling you that this situation is permanent yes that this result is permanent don't be don't be discouraged my friends even though it looks hopeless today the word of god says hallelujah joy comes in the morning hallelujah it says my friends to everything everything there is a season there is a season so this too shall pass it is too shall pass don't be moved by what you see my friends your natural eye but rely on the word of God Almighty that, that you know what you know today. The word says that God is God is good. God is good. He is He is a stronghold in the day of trouble. Yes, focus. Focus on that today instead of what's disappointing you, my friends. The word says you are my hiding place, my shield, my shield. It says I will look to the Lord. I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation and my God will hear me. He will hear me. Your life, your life, my friends, is in the hands of God. Yes, your, your future my friends is in the hands of God yes if life hits you hard yes my friends and you fail and you fall with the one would be it better to fall in the arm in the loving arms of Jesus Christ yes than anywhere else my friends so don't be defined don't be defined by this diagnosis today don't be defined, my friends, by the numbers of your bank account. Yes, my friends, I've had to talk to myself and remind myself that I have a great a God who has a plan. Yes, and God's plan. 
God's plan will still will still prevail, my friends. God's will, God's will will still done. God's will will be still done. He has ordered my steps, and so I'm not alone. I am not alone, and my beginning and my end is known by Him. Hallelujah! My heights and my lows, yes, my highs and my lows are known by Him today, and I walk by faith. I walk by faith and not by sight believing that the Lord has numbered my good my good days yes and to expect my bad days my friends so get to the point where you are content and at peace my friends to say today Lord Lord my life my life is in your hands my life is in your hands you have said be anxious for nothing you said uh, that you know the number of my hairs on my head uh, and so I so I surrender I surrender and yield today to your will oh father today I yield to your will now let us pray this morning let us pray dear God Lord Jesus thank you for your grace uh, this Friday morning your protection thank you because uh, your grace surrounds me each and every Every each and every day, yes, oh Lord, help me, Holy Spirit, uh, sweet Holy Spirit, so that I will not uh, harden my heart, uh, but help me, dear God, uh, help me to believe, help me to believe, uh, help me to believe fully fully and without uh, without reservation today i want to believe in all the promises uh, the promises of god uh, help me to be fearless uh, believe exodus exodus tells us uh, exodus chapter 14 verse 14 says uh, the lord will fight for you the lord will fight for you hallelujah yes and you shall hold your peace you shall hold your peace lord i adore you i lift your name up today father hi you are on much today oh father in all your ways god you are you are on 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 constituted in all authority there is no rival to you almighty god hallelujah there is no equal oh father to you today my god hallelujah father today lord jesus i pray i pray that you will increase you will increase my feet this morning i pray that you will help me oh father to overcome unbelief help me to crush my doubtful thoughts today that uh, that try that try and and reason with possibility probabilities or statistics uh, help me lord to walk by feet uh, walk by feet and not by sight uh, because as i do so so as i walk uh, i walk by feet uh, i know lord god that there is no statistic today that uh, that uh, that matters oh father there is no no probability that 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 uh, that matters today oh father the only thing that does matter the father is you lord jesus king jesus lord jesus your word says in mark chapter 11 verse 22 it clearly says to 24 have faith in god truly have faith in god i say to you whatever you say to this mom be thou taken up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in your heart my friends but believe believe what he says will come to pass will come to pass it will be done for him hallelujah therefore i tell you whatever whatever you ask in prayer whatever you ask in prayer believe believe that you have received it today and it will be hallelujah yours my friends lord help me to be confident today that uh, word that your word help me Jesus uh, help me Jesus and give me the grace uh, to be able to have fearless uh, fearless faith uh, a faith that is in constant uh, so that regardless of what the situation is today I can remain rooted uh, rooted form in my belief uh, yes in you oh Lord should the test uh, be a storm Lord give me the faith today to believe that you can come 
calm the seas today. Yes, in my life, oh Father, show my tests be mountain give me the faith today to believe that you you my king you my king can level that mountain today should my test even be a goliath today lord give me the faith to believe that your power your power will defeat every every giant today every giant your word says in deuteronomy chapter 10 verses 12 yes and now now israel now israel what does the lord what does the lord god requires you what to fear what to fear the lord god to walk in his ways to love him to love him to serve the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your soul with all father help me help me lord today so that i may not have any fear in this world but rather but rather i will only fear you i will only fear you my god i pray that i may walk in your ways help me to not walk in the counsel of the wicked yes nor to stand in the way of sinners nor to sit in the seat of the scornful strengthen my feet today lord jesus renew me renew my feet today lord renew my feet i review re-energize my feet in this moment this morning i pray for strong feet today so that i may stand for Jesus, stand for Jesus Christ and testify how he tore my mourning into dancing. Yes, give me strong, strong faith, Lord, so that I may stand on your word in a world that is lost, in a world that admits of discourage, discourage and drain hope. We be with me, Holy Spirit, as I seek to stand up in faith and live up the royal banner of this uh, soon coming king i pray by faith that i will enable he will enable me to live without the authority that I have given you in Luke chapter 10 verse 19 which says my friends behold behold I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy hallelujah and nothing nothing shall hurt you nothing shall hurt you me nothing shall hurt me by faith the Lord Jesus Lord Jesus walk in his authority as an ambassador today friends in the most high God I bless your name today in Jesus name yes Lord I pray I pray today oh father hallelujah in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus the place is very hot and AC is on top level yes yet the place is very hot yes amen the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace hallelujah thank you jesus praise god thank you lord hallelujah the peace of god have faith in god today truly i say to you whosoever says to this mountain again be taken up and thrown into the sea and it does not doubt you does not doubt in your heart but believe believe what he says it will come to pass it will come to pass it will be done for him therefore i tell you my friends whatever you ask whatever you ask in prayer today believe that you have received my friends and it will be it will be yours hallelujah praise god thank you jesus oh blessed be the name of jesus deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12 yours is what does the lord your god require of you today but to fear the Lord, fear the Lord your God, and to walk in his ways, to love him, to serve him, the Lord your God, with all your heart today, my friends, hallelujah, serve him today, serve him with all your heart, your soul, your spirit, your mind, your body, behold, I've given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions, yes, and over all the power, over all the power of the enemy, and 
nothing, nothing shall hold you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. There is an awesome presence of God, the Holy Spirit, in this room today. I've never been so hot in my life. Yesterday, I feel the power of God. My skin is perspiring. My shirt is wetting right now. Yes, praise God. There is a tremendous anointing of God, the Holy Spirit in this room, wherever you're listening from this morning, from the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, any part of Europe or the world. Today, my friends, is a day for your miracle. Today is your day for healing and deliverance and salvation. Right now, wherever you are, if you're suffering with cancer, if you're suffering with AIDS, with COVID, with diabetes, heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, kidney problem, a blood issue, a blood diet, Analysis problem, prostate cancer, what the case may be right now in the name of Jesus. If you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, today is your day for a miracle. If you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, today is your day for a miracle. If you're suffering with arthritis, pain in your joints, in your fingers, your knees, your toes, your elbows, today is your day for a miracle. If you have diabetes and your blood is messed up, you're just skin and bone. I command that, this, that to be healed. If you have a diarrhea and vomiting, you'll be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Every virus, every germs, every disease. Disease, I command to leave your body right now in the name of Jesus. If you're demon possessed today, I command those harassing demons to leave your body right now. Be gone, be gone in the name of Jesus. Right now, I see people in the spirit realm around the world are being healed left, right, and center. There is a tremendous heat, there is a tremendous anointing. If you feel a burning in your stomach, it's the work of the Holy Spirit. It's born out that cancer is born out that sickness is born out that disease post trick cancer born out today sickness disease infirmities evil and every work of darkness yes i see blind eye popping open i see people being lame walking that growth has disappeared that man with a hole in his heart you've been healed that man with a shut down kidney your god has replaced your kidney that person with a syringe of liver you've been healed yes all manner of sickness disease and infirmities that person who suffer from depression it is gone that person who is suffering an anxiety it is gone that pours with a migraine headache it is gone in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Many miracles this morning here and around the world online today. Wherever you are, if you're listening to me from, from the, your living room, your dining room, your kitchen, your car, your office, on the street with your phone in church, any part of the world, today is your day for a miracle. Whenever you listen to this message, you will be healed in the name of Jesus. But right now, right now in the name of Jesus, those who are here, be healed, be healed in the name of Jesus. I sent for the anointing right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every demonic forces of darkness, every demon possessed person, you're free today. Those harassing demons are leaving right now in the name of Jesus. Be gone, be gone in the name of Jesus. Be free, be free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Many have been received many have received their healing today write me text me call me and let me know what god has done this friday morning for you beloved and friends god bless you richly do enjoy the rest of this friday i'll see you in the next session by the grace of god in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen i love you very much in the love of god do enjoy the rest of the day in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen thank you jesus praise god hallelujah